just stick to it. It gets good. The care, like the, the problem with Witcher is that like when you first meet the guy Geralt, your main character, he's so bland on the surface that you're like, well, why didn't they let me make my own character? That's how I kind of feel about uh, the Jedi Fallen Order game. It's like if you're gonna give me such a, if you're gonna give me a bland Blanderson, why don't you let me make my own? But that that that's misleading because he is actually quite a bit of character. So you like to play? You want to play Nazebo in Dragonshire? But why? When was the last time you played? I think Nazebo's cute here, but we got Ultra Lisk, who is plenty of heals for the whole team. We got an Alarak. An Alarak. Maybe he just doesn't get to play Alarak very much, so he ends up on other things. He's a Sylvanas and such. And we got me. I think we just skipped right over Johanna, but we assume if she's playing Johanna, she's got other tanks. So I need to figure out how we make up for Nazebo. Nazebo is constantly being picked, but he isn't very powerful. He's not good at getting his own orbs from XP, and he takes way too long in the current game because it ends at 16, usually. You don't get to level 20. So what can we do that facilitates Nazebo kicking tons of butt? And I see that we have a gray main, which is great for camping. So we kind of need to provide... So we can just do our thrall. Uh, kind of need something that plays into the Nazebo. And it can't be poison. We're going to do bright wing. Either way, I think we are doing an off, not off laner per se, but yeah, there's the Nazebo. Grab it up. Yeah, I think me and Squidden have plenty of picks. Yeah, I, I think uh, I really, I really, really want to play Fallen Order. I really like Dark Souls games. It looks like a decent Star Wars game. Certainly watching Mandalorian right now, I'm kind of jazzed on Star Wars. But it's a little janky at the moment, and I'd like to see like a Game of the Year Bugs kind of fixed edition. Kyle Katarn, exactly! This should have been Kyle. Kyle's great. He was a great like gray Jedi kind of business, and that's what our dude is here, except for he's more like goody two-shoes, but he's still using force powers to kill people, so, you know. Kyle was a great mix. I love Jedi Knight. Okay. I like the big auto attacks into a Nubrak. Messes him up. We can poke the Falstad. A Zeratul. Smart Cat Zeratul, no less. Carl the Llama, we fought plenty of times too, so that's gonna pop out on you, give you a bit of a surprise. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this. I think the team needs that extra bit of CC with the Johanna to make sure that Grey Main can do his business. With a bright wing healer. Is it in a week? Well, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I'm not gonna get. I'm not. I, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to touch it. But I have not enjoyed the movie so far, and I will not be seeing it in theaters. I saw the other two in theaters, and that was. Well, it gave us something to talk about on the way home, but. It did not capture the Star Wars fantasy for me. And now they're like, Con finishing the saga of your lifetime, or, or of a generation. I'm like, well, whose generation? I'm, I, I don't really, I'm not really invested. I like Mandalorian. I'm really excited about Obi-Wan. Dark Souls elements with Lara Croft, Uncharted, consume, yeah. 
Yeah, and I've also seen, like, it's got the respawn, but it's missing that, like, Dark Souls, you know, explanation for it. Which isn't the worst thing. I mean, there are plenty of video game video games. Like, sometimes you play a video game and you're just like, that was a video game video game, you know? They didn't really care. It was, uh, like, the transfer from Resident Evil 4 to 5. You played 5 and you're like, holy crud, like, back of the truck shooting guns. Like, this is a video gamey video game. 4 was crazy but it was a horror game slow methodic and they don't have to do better than return of the jedi but i'm just not seeing not seeing that you know that reverence that capture oh we have a sleeping nazebo Well, and, and to think, too, that 4, that was so that was so ingenuitive, right? How many over-the-shoulder games did we have at that point? It felt very new. When was Dead, uh, Dead Space? I hate you, Rel. All right, well, you're going you're gonna to ruin my sweet, uh, my sweet time with that jumpy biz. But we just want stacks, so we'll let you push. Why not? gonna jump there to try to turn around in time to get the orb yeah and five also had like that co-op thing going on so it was it was all sorts of things it seemed like that was around the time they realized that co-op's a great money maker because you have to buy two copies of the game 2005 okay cool yeah so that would have been the start I mean, there's also a lot of, like, quick time stuff going on during that time period. That was that whole fight in Resident Evil 5 or 4. That was all quick time events. Honestly, I think she's going to win the shrine battle here. Particularly with Insight behind her, but... And we can try to invade, but it's really kind of not worth the energy would take to break through. Well, let's see. Nazebo's clearly going to have a little bit of trouble in the bottom. She is pri Okay, she's not going to leap over, so we're going to take control for a moment here anyway. Greymane's coming up. That could draw a lot of people to this area. Okay, cool. And Zeratul got back to Soken and Oh, Smart Cat is that uh that Kelthazad player. Does he want the solo lane or what's the So is he just visiting for sweet uh What's his master plan? Okay, here comes Urel. I assume she's gonna jump. Yep, yep, yep. Brightwing's coming in though. And leaves Nazebo in the middle. I don't have a well. I still got Brightwing here, but. She's kind of soaking the lane. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I wasn't going to run in there unless we were kind of actively getting heals. I can kind of regen with the spell armor in range here. Let's see if we can get a couple more points on our quest. But for the most part, we're just going to be pushing into the wall. I don't know where Zeratul is. 
I think we can we can dance a little longer as long as we're inside the aura here. Oh, she did the speed. Cool, we're out of juice. So we'll just stay up here, soak, let her push into me. Let's see where the damage is. Well, we've been wailing on Urel, which isn't really going anywhere, so that's fair. Johanna has the next top damage. Almost done. Jeez, they're dog in that middle. And now we got a lot of missing. Well, I mean, you know, you, you, there's a time, there's a time to play, and there's a time to work. But hey, welcome back, Nazebo. We're happy to have you. Still worried about... There's Zeratul. Got to get rid of that spell dude, though. There we go. Man, cute move. I mean, she's trying to get me in range of uh, her towers there. Took quite a bit of damage. Let's see if we can finish it off. Oh, level 10. Okay. Smart cat going on the Zebo. Getting cute. Hey, false dad. Oh, wow. Everyone's here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Nope. Wow, what a dive. Well, they, we get... We get a bottom camp, but they're going to take our top. That's going to make it really hard for me to get out there. Oh, man. And they don't have the damage at the moment. We could easily defend that, but it looks like Nazebo is... tough part is, what's Nazebo's XP like? It's just so low these days. It's such a burden to the team. I mean, he'll get a lot of stacks there, but... Ooh, yeah, there's uh, Johanna taking tons of damage. Understood. And now I gotta get back in range of that lane. There's Zeratul down there. I have a lane collapse if she fights into it, but... And is someone ready and prepared middle? Looks like she's going to do a heal, so she won't be able to jump. Nope, she's able to jump. Bummer. Just getting zoned out. We're going to have to stop that catapult. Oh, Ravenous Spirit. We got a Jarel kill. Nazebo can go soak up that top now. So let's see if we can get some camps rolling. Man, 
I was kind of, I was kind of hoping I'd get help, but I'm okay. Better to keep soaking everybody else. I'm just worried about the Zeratul invade. Okay, we got the lane here. Let's do it. Okay, well that's something. So they're gonna have their own. Greymane's working on bottom. We push this in. With Aura, with Zeratul and Tyrande missing. Unless Falstad chooses to spend his mighty gust on me, I should be safe. Having to use my darn wind fury to run away. I don't like that one bit. Rail's just gonna win that. I'll need support. Hopefully, they can just win bottom. Take hold of the shrines. Earn the Dragon Knight's power. Let's befriend these mercenaries. They're so deep without Brightwing. That's a shame. I really can't beat. I think I'm being safer than uh, the needs saving. But it's all good. We're just behind with that Nazebo XP. Wow, look at that. Just crazy. What a change that makes. And we're using our Tempest Fury to run away so often. Urel is absorbing a lot of the main openers I have. So we're just going to do lightning here and hope that adding lots of poke. Basically, I think we just kill Taronda as fast as possible when we get a chance. Kill everything but a new Barak. Got the slow. Okay. We gotta do aggressive stuff. Looks like Brew is with me. Falstead's pushing our top. Looks like Greymane might be able to get in range of it. Yep, I agree. Hey, Odgar, good to see ya. Yeah, adjusting well, adjusting well, thank you. Keeps you busy, for sure. You know, she actually just made Zeratul miss his skill shot. But we just lost our power. Prepare yourselves, heroes. The shrines will soon be active again. Okay, Nazebo and Brightwing are getting pretty caught out here. We gotta run.
camp at the top two levels down. Oh. Ah, oh, darn. Closer, faster than I could hit my D there. We hit the R. We hit the 1. But we should have hit that D. Probably first. But, I mean, as long as Nazebo doesn't go down, he should be. I mean, looks like he's doing Thing of the Deep as well. It's just so seductive. We're seeing them all kind of do the same build ever since the changeover. Virtual Murky Slayers. Well, I will. He's doing great. He said he had a very limited hero pool, but he grabbed an early Johanna for us. Which is fine, just fine. All right, gotta play safe. You shall burn. Gotta play safe and we can make it 20. How's stacks doing? They're still a little low. We got... Yeah, because you do Thing of the Deep, you don't have to go... You're not gonna do the full toad business. Let's see if I can cut off Falstad down here. Okay, Johanna's on it. It was worth losing stacks to get rid of a Falstad. See if this ravenous spirit can clean up. Oh, he's sort of zoned out. Oh, you're, you're pretty deep, girl. Taking poke. Yep, let's get that business. Gotta keep wiggling. And commence the jiggling. Uh, that's true, that's true, but hopefully he can soak some lanes for us and we can be just fine. Well, you, I mean, it, you, yeah, it's, all, it, it's fine, it's fine. Don't use <laughs> your urgent phone call while video gaming. Alright, well, is he done? No, he needs five more. Johanna's back. comes a new brack control both shrines and the dragon knight's power is yours all right he's got to grab stacks then we fight over mid you have forced my hand let's move all right we're done we got the vial Oh my goodness, bumper cars. Nice done. Don't chase the rit, Urel. There's still a false dad somewhere. Oh, false dad's getting the back, bros. Oh, jeez.
Okay, well, whatever. We're, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, you know, we did pretty decent damage. Ooh. Darn. Gotta control myself. That's a lot of damage. I mean, that right there is a big pit, but who wins the pylon battle, really? And which way are they going to come in? Okay, let's go make some magic happen in the bottom. We got 50 whole seconds to rock their world. Fifty whole seconds to rock their world. Nazebo, hook us up. Hook us up, Nazebo. Hook us up with the zombie wall, Nazebo. Zombie wall. There we go. There we go. I did it again. It's a and pretty decent push, items. though. Ah, oh. grabbing the spirits going. Okay, we're back in. Yeah, take it in the bottom. Who can go top and not get completely owned by Falstad? Oh dear, it looks like it's me. I can't beat Urel. But Brightwing's ready to phase shift. Got two top. They're chasing Zara tool. And we lost our numbers advantage. Kite it back. Let's go bottom. Let's win. Okay, we can still do. Is Falstad gonna kill Nazebo? Nope, Falstad's over the top of us. Oh, he flew top. Okay. Time's running out. Let's get this.
Their tool might be heading on the Zebo. Double blink. We got a big push in the bottom. Get on an important target. Okay. This Ebo is, what, channeling a ravenous spirit? What's going on back there, boy? Oh, unstoppable, you're all. Oh, well. Let's go win. Let's win the video game. GG. Hey, it was a little busy. How's it going, unpronounceable? Woo! Nazebo! Never worried, that's fine. No, it's more that Nazebo doesn't get the XP, and he needs XP to win the video game. And that's where I think we're having trouble with the Nazebo. So, like, could we do a Nazebo, like, Lost Vikings? How do we, these early pick Nazebos, how do we, like, make that engine roll? Because that, how much damage did they do? It's okay. It's all right, but Greyman and I were, you know, we were going nuts. We were out there wild and beating people up. And because they go Thing of the Deep, they're not doing Toads, so of course their damage is going to be a little lower, but it's also Diamond, so Toads gets dodged. So, like, where do we, where do we go? Yeah, Johanna, Johanna did a good job. She kept she kept in it. Zero deaths there. And Greymane was wild along as well. So I think we did a really good job getting off Urel in the team fights and getting off Anubarak. And really just scaring off, uh, well, Smart Cat when he came in, but making sure Tyrande wasn't comfy because that's how she heals is she auto attacks. And if she's comfy, she's healing a lot. Feel bad for the Zebras, Lodvar? Happy Tuesday to you. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't collect the orbs he makes. A big voodoo, which was a pretty good choice for the late game's error tool. Oh, Smart Cat actually went with Twilight Falls. Reset all basic abilities, so I guess that's why he didn't gain health when he went in. So maybe by zoning out Taronda, if we want to further reward ourselves, we could say that since Zeratul didn't do healing, in turn, by zoning out the healer we did a bigger impact on the game than we otherwise would have. 